Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to introduce pop-up menus. Here, I have prepared a background image and an icon. Double-click to open the software. Create a new project. Choose the path in the desktop pop-up menu folder and click OK. Choose a resolution that matches the smart screen. Then add the background image and click open. Here we are combined with the variable icon to use. So let's generate a variable icon. So Let's generate a variable icon field. We can also create the background image together. Select the background image and click on Generate. The start ID is named from number 32. Let's create a background icon feel again. Click generate and uh, save it in the folder D1 set. The start ID is from 48 and click save. Now uh, we can use the appropriate icon. Click select, select here. The menu pops up in the box select the area. On the right hand side is one of its properties. Let's look at the button effect. This is the effect of a button being pressed down and having a different color button. Select a button effect image. Select the second, second one. The variable dress is set to 1030. 1000 to 4F is optional. Here are the parameters of date uploading. If checked, it can upload date to the serial port after we finish typing, which can be used as the parameters judged in the identified by the main control board. The following is the setting of the pop-up menu control area. Select the first page. Select the pop-up area. And click OK. Then it will automatically select the page. This parameter is the display position of the pop-up menu on the current page. We can set it to the same as the starting page coordinate, which is set to 669, 224. Then the pop-up menu parameters are set. Other parameters can be default. Let's do a variable icon control location use. Also generate a variable icon display box. The right variable address associated with the set to 1030. Select the field 48. 
for the very bike. There are upper limit and lower limit. The icon corresponding to the lower limit, for example, when we write zero, it will show yes, and we write one, it will show no. Select uh, yes here. There are the number five and six icons in the library. The corresponding var variable value are zero and one, for example. Two and three are fine, but usually zero and one. Select the transport color for display mode. The background color Featuring intensive is set to 63 and the icon edges appear clear. The rest of the selection defaults. We can move the icon to the mid middle of the display area here. Let's do the key setting of the pop-up menu corresponding to the input. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the basic touch. And I'm going to click on the box to move to that position. The key value in the property needs to be set. The icon shoes here is yes, and its corresponding value is zero. Button effect set to dark image field number two. Name the two. Make another base touch, basic touch here. Select the dark color of the button effect. And the value is one. There is a close area. Same as the basic touch. The effect is selected on the second page. The close key is double F. This pop-up menu have a set key value range of double zero to double F. So we're done with the yes and no selection menu. More selection menus. They are set up in the same way as this. The controls on the main screen can be copied here directly. With the variable address change to 1040, we need to change it. So the pop menu arrow is on the first page, and we need to box the arrow that we want to select. The default coordinate is the starting point coordinate uh, 360 and 224 and other options can be selected by default. Icon fields can also be copied. Okay. 
Variable dress one thousand and forty. This place of the icon parameters need to be changed a range of zero to four, a total of five icons. It's going to be the zero range. The upper bound is going to be the fourth key. So it's going to be zero to four. Once you've modified it, you are done setting it up. Go back to the menu arrow to setting. Use the base touch page. We drag the total basic touch. The key is the key value is one, and the effect are the the effects are select on the second page. To copy the effect, set the key to two and uh, select the second page for the effect. Then copy the effect, select all the fields. Key three. Copy another one. Key four. The four key values correspond to the four icons that have just been set. Set another close key. Copy and move it over. We move the icon to the most central area. Finally, check whether the variable address is consistent. Okay, variable address function is done. Click save generation. Click save and generate. Back to the desktop. These are the fields we need to download. Copy them to the folder under D1 cell folder. Then download it from the SD card to the screen. Power off and power on operation. We take the card in the screen. And then power off, power on. Show the end download completed. Power off, return the card and then power on. Okay.
And now we can pop up a menu for us to choose from. We select the appropriate menu and the icon changes. We can say Let's take a look at the sending of instruction. The USB cable needs to be pl plugged and unplugged. Open the serial port, send date, send data. Modify the instruction according to the variable address. We need to change the variable address 0 to 4. Let's send this file instruction to see what happens. The corresponding icon has also changed. Select the icon to upload a corresponding key value. The corresponding icon below also uploads the corresponding key value. Our main control board can carry out the next logic operation according to this key value. Okay, so that's the pop-up menu. You're welcome to use it. Thank you.